Ooh, that's good. Talking Network is a speech service that converts any text to audio using artificial intelligence. And I'm told it sounds amazingly natural, like human voices. It supports more than 65 languages with 400 plus voices. So in this video, I'm going to put this speech to text software to the test. First, we'll take a look at the website and see what's on offer and see whether the website passes the trust test. Then I'll give you a quick demo so you can see how the tool works. And I'm going to use two of my books to test this software with. And you'll see why I'm using two. It will make sense. I'm also going to cover some pros and cons of the software and then I'll get into the pricing. You'll find links and timestamps in the description below this video in case you need a recap. OK, let's do this. Okay, the Talking Network website is not quite what I expected. The choice of colors is unusual. It's mostly gray and very dull. I also noticed that this is a traditional website rather than a one-page site, which is more usual for a software-as-a-service site. On the plus side, there are no big promises being made on this page. None of the usual buzzwords that you see on text-to-speech software services that claim to sound just like humans. In fact, aside from the depressing color scheme, the homepage is actually quite straight to the point and modest. I did notice, however, that if you click on the About Us page, it becomes very evident that this is a template site and not a great one at that. So I'm getting the feeling of a startup low budget operation. The fact that there's a blog section and they only have two posts reinforces that. And if you click on a post, yeah, that's not how you blog. Seriously, just remove that blog link or rename it to news. Now, text-to-speech software services are usually middlemen reselling the voice technology of Google or IBM or Amazon. Yes, Google WaveNet and Amazon Polly. And that's why all these voices sound the same across all these different platforms, because they are the same. I'm not getting that warm, fuzzy feeling from this website. It looks more like a 10 minute template job. But now let's fire up the tool and see what's what. When you log in, you'll see that the interface is very simple and minimalistic. So let's try out the voices. Now I noticed on the website that telephony was mentioned. So let's type out a voicemail type message and test a few voices, shall we? I'm gonna to go to AI voice because obviously that's going to be better than standard. And I'm gonna leave it as the female and let's type in Hi, you've reached the voicemail of Hoss. Please leave a message and he'll get back to you as soon as possible. So let's try this one out. Hi, you've reached the voicemail of Oz. Please leave a message and he'll get back to you as soon as possible. That's really not that impressive, especially since it's an AI voice. Let's continue. Let's try mail Justin, okay, shall we? Voicemail of Oz. Please. I didn't realize Justin was a 12 year old boy. Matthew, let's see what you've got. Reach the voicemail of us. Please leave a message and it'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, that's pretty good. Now let me change the pause to, let's say, David, because obviously the AI software is struggling with my nickname. So let's see. Matthew is a good one. Let's go for male Kandra, female Kandra, sorry. Hi, you've reached the voicemail of David. Ooh, a little bit serious for me that but you can see that you have a speaking rate so let's put it to fast and see how that sounds leave a message and he'll get back to you as soon as possible well she sounds like she's just been sacked that's fired if you're in the u.s but let's continue kimberly let's see kimberly hi you've reached the voicemail of david please no let's try sally hi you've reached the voicemail of david Please leave a message and he'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, so I have to say these do sound pretty good for something like a voicemail type message. So let's now try one of my books. I'm going to use an extract from my book, Perfect Solopreneur. So let me put that in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the preview to find a voice that sounds okay. And then I'll actually synthesize the entire paragraph so we can hear what it sounds like. So let's try Matthew again, because he was a good one. Telling somebody that funnel software may be right. Oh, let's change the speed. Let's go to default and try again. Telling somebody that funnel software may be right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to synthesize that file. And while that's processing, I'm going to change the voice to English UK. Let's try Brian. Telling somebody that funnel software may be right. It sounds a bit down, but it's not too bad. Now let's go to Ryan. Telling somebody that funnel software may be right. 
Oh, that's good. That's a good one. Yes, I like that. So let me synthesize that one. Now let's play the male Matthew voice and see what that sounds like. Telling somebody that funnel software may be right for them only if they already have a viable proven product with a profitable backend. Okay, that was pretty good, but I see the software had a little bit of issues with punctuation, but that was pretty good. Now let's try the English one, shall we? Them to increase the lifetime value of their clients is probably going to turn off over half of the visitors to that sales page. That was impressive. I have to say, this is much better than I expected. But now I'm going to test it with another story, which is a fiction story. There is a difference between reading fiction and non-fiction, and that's why I want to test two different readings. But before I do, I just want to touch on the pros and cons of this software so far from what I can see. The minimalistic interface is both a pro and a con. On the plus side, it's easy on the eye and very straightforward to use. You type or paste text into the box, you choose a voice, hit the button, and you're done. On the downside, there is a lack of controls to manipulate the voice intonation or style. Now in my Lovo AI review I talked about the amount of choice and controls you have over voice styles and information. You can see that review here and I'll put a link to that video in the description below this video. Okay let's get on with the test. Here's a passage from one of my horror stories, The Box. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in here. Now I'm going to use Ryan as this example because he did a fantastic job of reading the non-fiction stuff. So let's click preview. Let me have a look inside. John shook his head. Okay, that sounds promising. So let's synthesize that and then we can hear the whole thing. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna click on synthesize. Now I'm also gonna to go to Brian and let's just synthesize that. And then we can hear both of them. Now I'm gonna switch to us and i'm going to go to matthew because we like matthew and i'm going to synthesize that so we have three tests that we can listen to so let's go to the first one which is ryan marcia shifted on the sofa saying nothing pretending to read her book the box tells you the date of your death john yelled give it here then his dad yelled back it's okay but there are problems with the intonation and with the nuance okay Let's try the second one, which was Brian. John shook his head. Dad, it's not a good idea. Don't be ridiculous. His dad snapped. I'm going to stop that there. Now, I could have made Brian speak a bit faster had I known he was going to speak this slowly, but I can see that the intonation is wrong, so I'm not going to bother with that either. Let's listen to Matthew. Let me have a look inside. John shook his head. Dad, it's not a good idea. Don't be ridiculous. His dad snapped, reaching for his bottle. Marcia shifted. Let's stop that there. It's not quite there. The emotion is just not there. But to be fair, this is probably one of the best text-to-speech software tools I've tested so far. You have to remember that these guys are not making big promises on their homepage. They don't even mention audiobooks. So maybe that was a bit of an unfair test. I'm just desperate to find the right software. But they do mention telephony and that was pretty good. And in fact, I think you could get away with using the software for things like presentations, even short sales videos, and just hope that you don't hit an intonation problem. Maybe you could play around with the punctuation, remove a comma, remove a period, and just see how that sounds. But I don't think you get away with this for maybe a non-fiction piece. If you have a book that you've written and you want to turn that into an audio book, I don't think that's going to work. You are going to run into trouble when that intonation is just wrong because you have no control over those voices. But for small pieces and presentations, I think this is pretty good. So now let's quickly talk about pricing. Talking Network has some packages here and they have a free package. One-time payment of zero dollars. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a free package used for lifetime, 4,000 characters for standard or AI voices. Now that's pretty generous. I have to say, you can sign up for this for free and use 4,000 characters on either a standard or a AI voice. So you could, for example, upgrade your own voice message for free. I'm just saying. Then there's a starter package, $10 one-time payment, pay once, use a lifetime, 100,000 characters for standard or AI voices. Or the growth package, $59 one-time payment, 1 million characters for standard or AI voices. These prices are very reasonable. Now, if you scroll down, you have the same packages, 
but on a monthly recurring basis. $10 a month gets you 200,000 characters and $59 a month gets you 2 million characters. Now you could resell this to your clients and then one of the monthly packages would make sense. And I assume that you can just cancel that. There's no contract, no tie-in. So it's not that bad. There is an unlimited plan, $199 a year, and you have unlimited characters for standard and AI voices. So the pricing is pretty good. So well done on the pricing. Now this tool currently has a lifetime offer in the AppSumo marketplace. You'll find the link to the offer in the description below this video. And if you're too late for the deal, make sure you sign up to the channel. That way you don't miss any announcements when I make them. Now let me tell you something cool. I've created a playlist where I'm gonna put all these text-to-speech software tools because I'm on a quest to find a really good AI voice. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.